episode of Teen Art Club. I'm Angie, your teen librarian, and I'm really excited because today we're going to be making a craft that I have recently come to adore. And since it's almost Valentine's Day, the month of love, we're gonna make a heart garland. Isn't that cute? All right. So what you'll need for it is obviously Lots of yarn. Got a couple colors here. I don't know if I'll end up using the red, but I thought it was really pretty and I think it's really great texture. Um, but I'm concerned there might not be enough of it because this does take large quantities of yarn. So I might just do one in red. Anyways, you'll need lots of yarn, uh, scissors, tape, and I'm using twine for the, um, the string to bind the garland together. And then we're making the hearts that we're wrapping out of cardboard. I've already got them strung on here. Let me just move the next one down. I just drew them on there and then did my best to cut it. But again, it's going to be um, it's going to be determined by how you wrap it with your yarn. And I will go ahead and warn you that this is a time-consuming project. So it's going to take time, but it's also very cozy. So you know, get yourself a nice hot drink. Open up Hoopla, get yourself some music to listen to, or a movie to watch, or an audiobook, my personal favorite. I'm going to go ahead and make a list of some of my favorite audiobooks for you guys, and look, featuring great romances, um, or, or epically bad romances, you know, those are good too, to uh, keep you guys entertained while you do this heart garland. So, let's get started. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so... Again, I already cut out my hearts, I poked a hole through, and guided my twine through. Good thing about twine is it's coarse, so I didn't really need to work too hard to get it to go through. Uh, and then, the next thing you'll do is your yarn. I'm going to do pink again. Uh, get a little bit of it loose, because it's a bit of a bother to have to yank on it all the time. Get your end. And this is where we use the tape. Just get a little piece of tape and take a side, any side, and just tape it on. It's like a starting point. And then we wrap. And that's... Oh, I try to hold the twine up so as not to bind it in a weird way and to have it be in my way less. And you don't really have to be fancy with how you wind your yarn around here. Your goal is coverage and kind of an even coverage. So it's not too puffy in one way and like really flat and barely covered in another. But for your beginning, just, just start wrapping, covering it how you will. And it is kind of a mindless, mindless task. It just keeps your hands busy, which for me is really good right now because I have tended to be a little bit stressed in the evenings lately. It's a stressful time we're living through. So just having something to do with my hands while I veg out, and watch something, or listen to my audiobooks is a good, fun thing to do. And then, just going to keep wrapping, and I find it really helpful to turn your heart backwards and forwards and really make sure you're getting both sides covered because it's not going to hang forwards or backwards, it's going to hang to the side, so you want both, you want both covered. You want it to be oops, and sometimes it will all come loose and you'll just backtrack and do it. There you go. Pull it tight when you get there. And keep going. So yes. Just keep wrapping, just keep wrapping. Yeah. This is it fun little Valentine's Day craft, but not everybody is about Valentine's, right? So I think it would be really fun though to maybe glue some dysfunctional Valentine's sayings on the other side, like, hey, let's be friends, just friends. Hey, let's keep it platonic. Ooh, or your best social distancing pickup lines. You guys should definitely comment and tell me what your favorite social distancing hilarious pickup lines are. Share walls.
I said, don't worry about being fancy with your wrapping, but this is the part where it's your last few rounds and you really wanna make sure you've got those ends covered that you can still see um, any cardboard peeking through and to just kind of wrap it in a way that's going to give it more of a carefree look, I guess. Wrap it so that, wrap it, wrap it with intention. Wrap it on purpose in a way that like, you know, the threads are gonna come together and maybe look like they're emulating the heart shape. Got this point down here that I still gotta get wrapped because Trying to give that heart a point, and uh, the point does not like to be wrapped because it's, it's just better than that. It's above that, okay? Doing that. And you're gonna give your heart a turn. Kind of make sure that if you've been focusing on one side, that your other side also doesn't have any. Uh, cardboard showing through or any areas that just look a little noticeably thinner that you want to thicken up, plump up, if you will. And then see how this side, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of a little more scattered here. So I'm just going to do some center wraps, kind of bring that back down. And then you get the scissors out, put your thumb on it so you don't lose too much. Choose however much you want to cut it and wrap it tight. Oops, I missed it flying. And then I've been picking a nice tight section to push it through. And wrap that, pull that tight, and pick another and tuck it in there. Pull it tight. So let's see what we've got so far. It's getting a little tangled or a lot tangled, which may also be, oh, worried me for a second, but that's just the yarn ball. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. I, as you can see, have a few more to go. Got some bigger hearts there. I think I'm gonna make one of them red. But I would love to see what you guys make. Send us any pictures or videos. Tag us in anything on Instagram that you make with this. And we hope to see you guys at the library soon. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe out there.